Good morning children. Praise Jesus. It's a wonderful morning that God has given us. We should be rejoiced and be glad in it. He has allowed us to see a new day and we have our lesson. Let us pray before we start. Everlasting Father, we are humbled before thy presence this wonderful morning, exalting and magnifying your holy name. Thank you, Jesus, for being with us. Thank you for giving us the gift of life and good health, O God. We pray that you may forgive us our sins, cleanse us and wash over us, O God, that we may be acceptable before thee, O God. As we start our lesson, we invite you to come and be with us, O God, that, Father, we may learn and hear from you. Father, as we continue, be with us, O God. At the end of it, we shall remember to say thank you and to honor your holy name. And it is in Jesus' name we do pray and believe. Amen. Now, before we start our lesson, we shall stand up and have some two choruses. Okay, let us stand up. I clap, uh, uh, clap your hands. Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns my life around. Jehovah turns my life around. He makes a way where there seems no way. Jehovah has the final say. Who is the king of kings? Jehovah is the king of kings. Who is the king of kings? Jehovah is the king of kings. Jehovah turns my life around. Jehovah turns my life around. He makes a way where there seems no way. Jehovah has the final say. Who is the Prince of Peace? Jehovah is the Prince of Peace. Who is the Prince of Peace? Jehovah is the Prince of Peace. Jehovah turns my life around. Jehovah turns my life around. He makes a way where there seems no way. Jehovah is the Prince of Peace. Mbele mbele atawale, nyuma nyuma atawale, pande zote atawale, muachie Yesu atawale. Mbele mbele atawale, nyuma nyuma atawale, pande zote atawale, muachie Yesu atawale. Manyumbani atawale, mashuleni atawale, kanisani atawale, muachie Yesu atawale. Mbele mbele atawale. Nyuma nyuma atawale, pande zote atawale, mwachie Yesu atawale, mbele mbele atawale, nyuma nyuma atawale, pande zote atawale, mwachie Yesu atawale. Let us appreciate Jesus. Uh, we can have our seats. Now, before we start our lesson, last Sunday we learned something. Aha, uh -huh, who can remind us what we learned? Who can remind us? Uh, today, let me remind you, we were with teacher Millicent and we learned about generosity. We learned about generosity. What is all about generosity? It's being kind to one another and sharing what we have. Amen? Uh, very good. Now, today our lesson is God can be trusted with our future. God can be trusted with our future. Now, today I have a picture here with me. Can anyone see what, what the picture is? Ah, nobody can see it. What do you think I'm holding? I might be holding a wild animal, a bad one, like a snake, a monster, or a crocodile. Or I may be holding a picture of something very nice, like, sorry, like God's creation the landscape, the trees, the flowers. I can be holding something nice. Will you trust me? Will you trust me? Okay, let us see what I'm holding. Wow! I'm holding a beautiful picture of God's creation. You can see there mountains, you can see the trees, 
the river, the beautiful creation of God. The beautiful, beautiful creation of God. Here it is. Wow, it's very beautiful. Just as our lesson has, uh, is telling us, God can be trusted with our future. I believe many, uh, all of you trusted me when I told you that I'm holding a very nice picture. Did I lie? No. I showed you a very good picture of God's creation and the beautiful scenery. Amen? Now, when we look at our Bible, we have a word that is telling us that we can trust God with our future. And you're going to have Shaniz Nyambura reading for us from the book of Romans, chapter 8 and verse 28. Let us listen. My name is Shanizu Yambura and I'm 8 years old. Today we are going to read from the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 28. And it says, Who, We know that in all things God works for good with those who love him, those whom he has called according to his purpose. Thank you. May God bless you. Wow. Thank you so much, Shanice. God bless you. And we all say, Amen. Thank you. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you trust God with your life? For me personally, I trust God with my life. And I believe you also trust God with your lives. And that is very good. Just as, our, uh, as the word of today has told us, that we know that in all things, God works for good for those who love him and who have been called according to his and I know you all believe in God and you love him and you trust him with your life. Okay? Now, I'm going to share with you a story. I have my friend here under the table. Do I bring him out or I don't? How many wants me to bring him out? Ah, I also want to bring him out. Let me bring him out. Wow, this is my friend here. He's called Juma. He's called Juma. Now Juma, Juma was a very happy boy. Juma was a very happy boy. <laughs> he used to smile all the time. He would smile because he was happy. He had a loving father, a loving mother, and they were really enjoying. They were really enjoying. And Juma used to enjoy riding on his father's bicycle as he was going to school. He used to sit in front of his father and he would enjoy the cool breeze as his father was taking him to school. And he used to be very happy. Hey, we can see Juma there. He's happy, jumping up and down, saying, thank you, daddy. Thank you, mommy, for being good parents. Then one day, one day, Juma woke up. His father was nowhere to be seen. His mother was nowhere to be seen. I don't know where they went. They just left Juma alone. And Juma would cry. Juma would cry. Juma started crying. Crying. And he became sad. He became very sad. He became very sad. Because now, he felt the people he trusted have left him. They have deserted him. And he didn't know what to, who to turn to or whom to tell his problems. But his friends, his friends and their parents came along and they encouraged him. And one of the parents told Juma, there is one friend who will never forsake you, who you must trust for the rest of your life. And that is God. And that is God. And from that time, they started preaching to Juma, telling, telling him good words of the Lord, reading for him the Bible verses, sharing with him the memory verses. They even invited him to their church. Let me put my friend down here. They even invited him to his church. And Juma started trusting in God. Juma started trusting in God. And do you know how he started trusting in God? Because he started reading his word. He started reading his word. Number two, he started praying. And when he was praying, he was listening to the voice of God. Do you know God speaks to us when we pray? Yes, he'll tell you what to do. Or he'll even give you a memory verse from the Bible. And when you read it, you feel encouraged. Juma would pray 
and listen to the voice of God. Juma would read the Bible and hear the word of God. And God gave him a lot of promises by reading his word. God gave him a lot of promises by reading his word. And I'm going to share with you some of the promises that Juma read. And he started trusting in God. Now, Juma was given promise number one. It is from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 31 and verse 8. Deuteronomy chapter 31 and verse 8. And we are going to... very well. Now, this memory verse, ah, what does it tell us that God can be trusted? Number one, God himself will go before us. He will go before you. He will go before you. And he will be with you. And he will be with you. He will never leave you, nor forsake you. Do you see the way Juma was left by his parents? God will never leave you, no matter what. No matter what. He will always be with you. He will always be with you. Now, what is this verse telling us not to do? It tells us not to be afraid to see your gopel or lote. Because when God is with us, nothing is supposed to scare us. Amen? Amen. And we should not be discouraged. We should be of good Courage. Tuwe na kufu ya kufanya ile enye mungu wa metuambia tufanya. Amen, children? Amen. Then we have promise number two. We have promise number two. And promise number Bless you. Our second promise comes from the book of First Corinthians in chapter 10 and verse 13. And what does it tell us? That God is faithful. He will not let us be tempted beyond what we can bear. What does that tell us? That mungu hata tupeleka kwa majaribu yenye hatu taweza kukosa kuingia kwa hiyo majaribu. Amen children? God will always give you a temptation. That he'll always give you the strength to overcome it. Amen? And also, this verse is also telling us that nothing in our life is going to be easy. Nothing is going to be easy. We shall be experiencing challenges here and there. Like now we are going back to school. We might be going to school very soon. And even grade 4 and class 8 are already there. Some were not even learning. They were just playing. They feel that these things are very difficult. But you know what? With God, everything is possible. They are going to make it and they are going to pass. Amen? Amen. So, and then, even if a temptation comes, God will always give you a way on how to go around it and make a way for you to escape it. Do you see God will never leave you? He will never leave you and he will never forsake you. Amen? Now, after reading this memory verse, how do you feel? You feel encouraged, isn't it? And you feel that there is nothing that will come your way and God will not help you make for it. Amen? We go to promise number three. Uh, Shanice Nyambura started the service for us by reading the book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 28. And let us read together. And we know that in all things God works for the good for those who love him and who have been called according to his now, in this verse, what does God say that he should be trusted for? That no matter what, no matter what is happening around you, God is working out things for your own good. Because you've been called for his purpose, according to his purpose. And what is our purpose on this world that God called us for? To serve him, to obey him, and always to be good. So that God, when God looks at us, 
he feels that we are okay and we are good before him. Amen, children? Just as this verse has told us, that it, we know that in all things, God works for the good of all those who love him. So remember when you love God, when you love God, everything will work out for good. Hata kama unaona ni mbaya haje, God has a purpose and it will always turn around for the good. So don't complain. Don't complain, but always in everything, thank God. Thank God because he has a purpose. If he didn't want you to go through whatever you're going through, he wouldn't have brought it your way. Amen? So no matter what, no matter what, always know that God will always be with you. He will never forsake you and you should fully trust him. Amen? Now, how does this verse make you feel? You feel secure in the Lord. You feel secure in the Lord. Because you know, no matter what is happening around you, God is always with you. He is there with you till the end. Till the end. Then we have promise number four. Promise number four. And we shall have it from the book of Psalms 128 and verse 1. We are going to have Stephanie Jerry reading for us. Let us listen. The 128 verse 1, it says, Happy are those who obey the Lord, who lives by his command. Wow. Thank you, Stephanie. God bless you so much. Thank you so much. And what does this uh, memory verse tell us? Happy are those who obey the Lord. Happy are those who obey the Lord and walk in his ways. And walk in his ways. What does this uh, Bible verse say about the people who love the Lord? That they are blessed. They are blessed. Just imagine the blessing of, the, of, of God. Since the day you were born up to today, the way you are, it is a blessing from God. It is a blessing from God. It is God who has taken you from the day you were born up to where you are. You have his blessing. And the blessing will only come to those who obey the Lord. To those who obey the Lord. Just as promise number four has told us. Blessed are those who obey the Lord. And those who walk in his ways. What are the ways of God? Being obedient. Being good to one another. Being kind. Sharing what you have. Reading the word of God. Praying, obeying your parents. And when you do this, when you obey all the commands, remember we have 10 commandments from God. When you obey these commandments and keep them, God will always be there to bless you. How many want the blessing of God? Help me, I want the blessing of God. I know you also want the blessing of God. So if you want the blessing of God and you want God always to be with you, kindly follow his words. When we read the Bible, we hear what God expects from us. We hear what God expects from us. So kindly let us do it and we live as a living sacrifice to God for the glory and honor of God. And I'm telling you, if you trust God, all these promises will come to you. And when you read these Bible verses, you see that we can trust God with our future. We don't know what the future is holding for us. But I believe God is making a pretty picture out of our future. Out of our future. And for your picture to turn out to be pretty and to be good before God, it is high time you obey God. Amen? You obey the word of God. You read the word of God. And above all, share this good message with your friends. Amen, children? When you read a memory verse, don't keep it in your heart. Go out there to your friends and share with them. You tell them, the Bible tells us this. And then you tell them the word of God. Like now the lesson we are learning today. You can share with some of your friends who didn't have a chance to have the word of God. You go out there and tell your friends the word of God. And I'm telling you, God will always be happy with you. And he'll always be there to make your future pretty and to be beautiful. Amen, children?
Now we go to our memory verse for today. Our memory verse for today comes from the book of Ro sorry, Romans chapter 8 and verse 28. And we've read it. Now we can read it together. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. That is our memory verse for today. That is our memory verse for today. Memorize it. Share it with your parents, with your friends out there when you go to play. Those who have gone back to school, share it with your fellow peoples. Okay? And God will always be, uh, will always bless you. And this is to tell us that we should trust God with our future. No matter what you face on the way, as you are growing up, no matter what you face, don't let go of God. Don't let go of God. Keep on praying, keep on praising Him, keep on reading the Word. And I'm telling you, you will never be disappointed in trusting in God. Trusting your future in God, you will never be, you will never be disappointed. Trusting your education in God, you will never be disappointed. Trusting your family before God, you will never be disappointed. You will always experience the love of God. And you will always enjoy. Amen, children. Thank you for listening. Share the word of God. Read the word of God. And God will bless you. For those who have got, who've gone back to school, we wish you all the best. As the others also, we continue praying that you may also go back to school. God bless you so much. And have a blessed day. Let us pray. Everlasting Father, we are humbled before thy presence once again, saying thank you for walking with us throughout the, this lesson. Oh God, it has taken your mighty hand, King of Glory. Father, thank you for showing us that we can trust, uh, we can entrust our future in you. Because you are holding us in your hands, Jehovah Lord. Because you have our future in your hands, King of Kings. Father, enable us to trust you fully with our life and everything that you've given us, O God. We thank you and we honor you. And these children, I commit them before you. That you may continue blessing them and keeping them. Together with your parents and their teachers, O God. Bless them and do them good, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Father, we thank you and we honor you. Throughout this week, O God, we want to experience your love in our lives, Jehovah Lord. We thank you and we honor you. And it is in Jesus' name we do pray and believe. Amen. Bye-bye. Till next Sunday. God bless you.